Here you go, buckaroos. Cowboy hats. Cool. What is all this? We're going to planet Rootin' Tootin', a peak yonder, cow folks. I believe that's cow pokes. Poking cows? Oh, that's not very nice. How would you like to be poked? What's the problem with planet Rootin' Tootin', besides looking like a cow's hide? Seems some rustlers are rustling all their cows. We have to help guard the cattle and get them into town. Wouldn't cows be happier out on the range? Oh, no. You see, on planet Rootin' Tootin', cows are their pets. Pets? Sure. Ever play fetch with a cow? Loads of fun. And after a hard day out on the farm, who doesn't love to reach down and squeeze out a tall glass of milk? Can a dog do that? I don't think so. We must help get that cattle to town before the entire planet becomes petless. So that's where we're going, little lady. Hiya. I'm doing John Wayne, big Western star from the movies. I'll be right here, running the ship if you need me. What's that? It's a universal translator. My Western dialect is a bit rusty, so this machine will help translate whatever colloquialisms we hear into words we can all understand, and vice versa. That's a colo... colloquialism. Colloquialism. You know, different ways of saying something. Like a cowboy says howdy instead of hello. Want to give it a test run? Gimme! I go find you! You're fucking You're the horn! There, cow folks. Is that any way for cadets to talk to one another? Yeah, Michelle. You should ask nicely. Remember, a gentle word turns away wrath. I didn't hear you talking so nicely. <clears throat> Pay attention. I'll show you how this works. Uh, let's see. I'm rather famished. Perhaps a walk to the local bistro would be in order. I'm powerful hungrified. Reckon I'll mosey on down to the chuck wagon for some vittles. <clears throat> I'm most powerfully hungry and fried. I recon I'll mosey over to Charles' wagon for some vitals. Yeah. Oh, my. This may take some time. What's that? An auto lasso. I wonder what it does. <laughs> A gentle word turns away wrath. But a mouthful of Jason is even better. <laughs> Landing stations, everyone. We're here. Boy, that cow can really move. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Move! It's a cow joke. <laughs> ah, I crack me up. Mitchell, that was your best landing yet. It's an omen, a sign. This assignment's going to be a piece of cake. Who's the biggest toad in your posse? If you're looking for toads, you've come to the wrong place. Clearly, we're penguins. Who's the big bug? Mm -mm. Let's see. I'm gonna oh, knock oh, Callie oh, West, oh, whoever's oh, the biggest oh, toad or bug here. I am going to beat Senseless, the leader of this entourage. The leader? <laughs> I'm not exactly the leader. Uh, that would be Admiral Strap. Whoa! Are you on the shoot? Because of you, my cow's balled up and running for sundown. Are you looking for trouble? Because of you, my cow was confused, frightened, and stampeding. Would saying, I'm sorry, help? Sorry, don't cut the mustard, hombre. I'm about as all fired up as a hat full of hornets, and someone's gonna pay for it. Oof. You're all in a heap of trouble. <laughs> Somebody do something before we die of wedgies. Howdy, mate. I'm Midgel. This is Kevin, Jason, Michelle, and that's Fidgel in your left fist and Captain Sigil in your right. I, uh, didn't catch your name. Handles Wild Bill Quasar. My friends call me Billy. But I ain't got no friends. Well, Billy... It's Mr. Wild Bill to you. Okay, Mr. Wild Bill, I think we've gotten off on the wrong foot. We're here to help. Help? <laughs> You're about as much help as a fox <laughs> in a hen house. Oh, we're terribly sorry, and we came to help you drive your herd into town. 
uh, where is your herd, anyway? You scared it off! Your herd is one cow? That's all that's left after Gopher Gus and his gang stole the rest. And now you done scared off my last cow. Big help, thanks a lot. Just point which way he went. We'll get him back for you. You better. <laughs> Looks like the path of destruction heads off this ways. Good luck to you. I don't know how you're gonna do it. I speak cow. I could have grown a beard by the time you quit loafing and finished the roundup. Took you long enough. A simple thanks would have been nice. Well, I ain't nice. We ain't done yet, neither. This here cattle still needs to get to town, and since Gopher Gus is still out there lurking, we's gonna be needing some. I don't know if you penguins have noticed, but Wild Bill's not the most pleasant man we've ever encountered. He speaks rather harshly, even for a cowpoke. I'm wondering how we can get on his good side. I'm afraid this is his good side. I bet his herd wasn't stolen. I bet they ran away. Shut your big bazoos! You'll spook the cow again. If we run into Gopher Gus and his gang, you'll be needing these. Come on, you greenhorns. We got a cattle drive to go on. Somebody needs to tell him to speak more nicely. Captain? Why do I have to talk to him? He'll just yell at me. Maybe we should just stay away from him. Excellent idea, Michelle. People, avoid Wild Bill. What's he doing way back there? Avoiding you. You talk so mean. Hey, what's the big idea? I hear you can't take a little screaming and yelling. Gonna have to toughen you up. You hear what I said? Clear as a bell. Well, avoiding him didn't work. I don't think anything's gonna work. How much further, Wild Bill? Ah, you'd think I was on a cattle drive with the old Biddy's Club. Lunch! Children, I am sorry for the unpleasant nature of this mission. It's okay. I'm kind of getting used to it. Yeah, and the cow's cute. I just wish there was some way we could soften Wild Bill up. He's just making things worse when he speaks so harshly. There may be a way. Please, I'm all ears. Well, it's like our grandmom says. A gentle word turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Wait a minute. You're saying we should be nice to him? Come on, lass, he's torturing us. No, 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 Mitchell. They may be on to something. If our attitude towards Wild Bill is one of kindness, he may well change his spurs. Exactly. So from now on, remember, gentle words, soft answers. That's it. I've had it. Uh, Captain, if I may. You may not, Fidgel. I'm sick and tired of the way Wild Bill treats us. I'm sick of being yelled at, bullied, treated with disrespect. I'm very sensitive, you know. What do you suggest? Tell that old Western windbag what we really think of him. I don't know if that's such a good idea. We were just saying a gentle word turns away wrath. Let's go, city slickers. Daylight's burning. Not me. I'm finishing my meal. You want something? You speak to me with respect. R-E-S-P-E-C... Uh, how exactly do you spell respect? Are my ears lying? Because if they ain't, someone's about to start crying. You're rude, crude, and your personal hygiene leaves a lot to be desired. Ooh, you asked for it. Work 
working with a gaggle of deadbeats. I don't see you hitting anything. I could, if and I wasn't so all fired concerned that you're all nothing but crow bait. Them's fighting words. Everyone, stop it! You're both upset. You're mad about losing your herd and don't feel you're getting the help you need. <sighs> you're fine as cream gravy, little lady. And you feel you're putting out a great effort, but aren't being appreciated. Finally, someone understands. You shouldn't use harsh words no matter what. It only makes the problem worse. Yelling using harsh words and being mean to each other never solves anything. Uh, he started it. Did not. I don't care who started it. You're responsible for how you react. And just because he's harsh, doesn't mean you have to speak that way. I've got an idea how to get your cows back, but first you have to make up with each other. Aw, oh, I should have pulled in my horns. Had no right to treat you that a ways. You're no crow bait. Sorry I snapped. I'm under a lot of pressure. Oh! <laughs> I think I liked them better when they were fighting. So what was your idea for getting my get-alongs back, little lady? Maybe you could speak nicely to Gopher Gus. You know, ask for your cows back politely. I'm not sure that's gonna work on Gopher Gus. <laughs> See what I mean? Land of Goshen! They stole my last cow! Let's get them space gophers! So is really something special. In my book, you're all in apple pie order. And you're a slice of lemon meringue yourself. Well, we best get a wiggle on before Gopher Gus and his gang try to snag them doggies back. Ain't no way to hide my herd from them varmints. Nothing to report here. Just a gaggle of penguins out enjoying an afternoon stroll. Yep, not a one of us is a cow. Very subtle, sir. Thanks. See, I'm throwing the space gophers off the trail. If they think the cow is really a penguin, then... I, uh, get it. I reckon this is the end of the road. Looks like them kids ain't gonna get their pet after all. Kevin! Them space gophers will clean his plow! Uh, poor Kevin. Wait with his boots on. Or at least he would have if he wore boots. Kevin, you're all right. What did y'all do down yonder? I speak gopher. What'd they say? You're me. Be nice, okay? Maybe. What'd he just say? Wild Bill was mean. I promised he'd be nice. He said, okay, but there's one thing. After a showdown at high noon. Cool. In a Western, the hero always faces the outlaw. Only one survives. Well, partners, I'm headed for Boot Hill. The big tamale. Or is it the big enchilada? You ain't dueling Gopher Gus. He wants me. He's gonna get me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't want to face Gopher Gus. I'm so happy. Good luck. If there's anything I can do, let me know. Talk about a close call.
informant. You and me, we've been feuding for years. Time we stopped. Can't we all just get along? <coughs> Missy, can I whack him a good and just once? He's all his kind understands. Look, I'm real sorry for being ornery. I got the saddle sores, but that's no excuse. I won't be mean no more, okay? Well, what did he say, Kevin? He says, you may leave. No more fighting. And he's sorry for making things worse by saying mean things back to Wild Bill. He won't do it anymore. Oh, and he says, take your cows. They eat too much. And you could have had them before if you just asked nicely in the first place. Well, I'll be hog-tied in my Sunday best, if that don't beat all. We did it, boys. I'm mighty beholden to y'all. Much obliged. Kids are gonna have their pets. Oh, shucks. Twelve's nothing. I didn't catch that. Uh, it was purely our pleasure. He was right. A gentle word done turned away their wrath. Not such a bad guy, really. He's like anyone. Treat him right, he'll treat you right. Oh! Oh, darn you penguins! You got my doggies all balled up again! I mean, please don't go smoking my herd, little feather partners. I don't understand why those penguins got their spaces anyhow. Sometimes I think my words are falling on deaf ears. Then you little crumpets come along and surprise me. Well, we're gonna get out some shut eye before we get the morning dew, Grandma. Yep. Sun up comes mighty early in the morning. What? Jason, Michelle, you must be watching too many westerns on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy trails, young'uns. <laughs> Good night, partner. Get the trail, little buckaroo.